Hey guys, it's X, and welcome to another video. This one is a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare video. Um, I played through the entirety of the single player version, or the single player campaign. I had a blast playing it. And then I jumped into multiplayer. I didn't even touch multiplayer until I finished playing through the campaign. I saw the campaign as sort of a primer, as sort of something to get you ready to play the multiplayer version of the game. So I jumped into multiplayer. In truth, I've wanted to get into a Call of Duty game ever since I saw uh, gameplay of Modern Warfare uh, online on YouTube, back when it was, you know, the current thing, Modern Warfare, that is. And I just never really got into a Call of Duty game. But the gameplay that I saw of Advanced Warfare before purchasing it, uh, I let it sit for a while. I saw it, I was like, hey, this looks like a little fun, maybe it's something I want to get into. And eventually I just decided that I was going to get Advanced Warfare because I just felt like playing it and it looked like a lot of fun. So that's what I did. And I haven't been playing for a very long time. There's still a lot of stuff for me to unlock uh, in the multiplayer version of the game. And one of the things that I unlocked is this riot shield. And uh, I, I, I jumped into a multiplayer game. And we're about to see this in a moment. But I jumped into a multiplayer game. I jumped in late. Uh, it dropped me into a game on the team... Uh, on the side of the team that was already losing the match. So I guess I was filling a, a slot that a player had left. Or maybe the other team... Maybe the team that I joined was just down the entire time. Uh, a player or two or something like that. I don't know what the case was. But I jumped in. And I wanted to showcase my first experience with this riot shield because I thought it was pretty entertaining. So let's take a look and see how that played out. Alright, so here we are, jumping into the game. And at first, I'm mostly just experimenting with this new build. This is a heavy build that I'm trying to uh, set up. I'd like to have various different builds whenever I jump into a game like this. Something that I can swap to for different situations. And as we can see, I'm not really going on the offensive too much. I'm trying to see the capabilities of what the shield can do. So I get in a stare down with this enemy across the way here. And he gets a shot off on me. I make sure to watch the kill cam to see what it looked like on what it looked like on his screen. And I see whenever I'm holding shift and running the shield. And it, of course I can see that on my screen too. But I can see exactly how much of my character is exposed whenever I'm running with the shield as opposed to just walking with it and uh, holding it out in front of me. Now here, I see that a friendly is sniping out this window. So I set up my shield to provide him a little bit more coverage. I don't think he's actually sniping, but I make it my objective to give him as much support as possible. So what I do is I watch his back while he's looking out the window and trying to get picks uh, on the enemy team. I think he's got an automatic rifle. So I'm sending grenades down these stairways. I miss with that first grenade, but the second grenade actually gets somebody. And we saw earlier, I actually took someone out with my laser rifle uh, to cover him, to cover my uh, friendly here. And then my friendly eventually leaves, and I pick my shield back up. Back myself into a corner, and again, I'm just testing the shield's capabilities. Uh, again, I watch the kill cam to see exactly how this guy took me out with my shield up in front. It turns out he's shooting at my feet, so that's a weakness I know from the shield, so uh, for the future, for future reference, so I can crouch later on, and this time I'm going on the offensive with it. I'm using my boosters to jump and then boost forward while I'm in midair, so that I can keep the shield in front of me, get up close, and they can't get shots off on me, because I'm charging at them. And then I'm using the shield itself as a melee weapon, and pounding enemies in the front or in the back, any which way that I can, and getting kills with it that way. Um, this was a shorter match, like I said. But I've had a lot of fun with this shield. Again, this is my first time jumping into a multiplayer match with it and using it to any real degree. I think I'm going to be using it for a while because this turned out to be pretty fun. I think it's something that's a pretty unique concept, or not really unique concept, but it's a pretty fun concept. Uh, it's a weapon that's not a gun and it provides defensive options. And I don't know, it was just a really fun experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this particular video. I realize it's pretty short. It's just something that I wanted to share, something to have up on YouTube so that I can come back and watch it again, and something to share with friends. You know, I want to show people who play this game with me uh, this cool little bit, and I'm hoping you guys enjoy it as well. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Let me know. Uh, Call, of Duty, uh, Call of Duty content is something I am interested in making. And if you're wondering about Far Cry 4, yes, that's coming. Uh, my computer... I actually upgraded my computer for that. I got a GTX 980 so that I can get a nice solid 60 frames per second for my Far Cry 4 playthrough. So that's coming. But again, if you liked this particular content, hit that like button. Let me know. Leave a comment. All that good stuff. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.